Dive into the ring. Learning English through boxing. Hello, dear English learners. Today, we are going to dive into the exciting world of boxing. Don't worry, we're not going to throw any punches. Instead, we're going to use boxing to build our English vocabulary and understanding. This is a part of our series on individual sports. Boxing is a combat sport where two people, usually wearing protective gloves, throw punches at each other for a predetermined amount of time in a boxing ring. It's one of the oldest and most universal sports, and it's filled with specific terminology that can enrich our English vocabulary. In boxing, you'll often hear the terms like ring, gloves, punch, round, and knockout. The ring is the square area where boxers fight. They wear gloves to protect their hands. A punch is a quick hit using the fist. A boxing match is divided into segments called rounds. A knockout, often abbreviated to KO, is when a boxer is unable to continue the fight after being punched. As you dive deeper into the sport, there are more advanced terms. Some of these are uppercut, jab, hook, and referee. An uppercut is a punch given from a slight upward angle. A jab is a quick, straight punch thrown with the lead hand. A hook is a punch performed by turning the core muscles and back, thereby swinging the arm, which is bent at an angle, into the opponent. The referee is the official who ensures that the rules of the game are followed during the match. Now, let's use these words in sentences. 1. The boxer delivered a strong uppercut that ended the match with a knockout. 2. The referee stopped the fight in the third round after a series of powerful jabs and hooks. 3. He put on his gloves, climbed into the ring, and prepared to punch his way to victory. That's our introduction to English through boxing. Boxing, like any sport, has its own set of unique vocabulary that can be fun and practical to learn. Remember, the best way to learn is to use these words in your everyday conversations. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, learning English is a marathon, not a sprint. So keep practicing, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.